So I'm hearing a lot about this frog poison and a shaman being involved. And I think there's some misunderstanding about what this actually is. Um, there's a guy on uh, Twitter and YouTube is talking about a poker pro named Bryn Kenny. And Bryn supposedly asked this guy, Martin, to go see a shaman. Now, when he got to the shaman, the shaman wanted him to do frog poison, acid, etc. So people are talking about this frog poison. And I think a lot of people are kind of mixing it up with, you know, the toads when you used to lick a toad. You know, there was a trend where you licked a toad to get high. Um, and I think that's what a lot of people are assuming happens with the frog venom. And that's not the ritual. I mean, the first thing I want to say is Martin said he went to this individual and this individual told him, I'm a killer. I'm a murderer. I'm a liar. I'm a thief. I'm a, you know, and I just want to tell you that is a brainwashing mechanism that's used to open up the mind so the brainwasher can put in whatever information they want. Now, traditionally, you know, there's pain being used, you know, but because, you, you know, you're not being captured or you're not being tortured, you're just in somebody's garage they can't literally physically punch you or hit you. They could. But it's easier just to shock the brain with these words to open it up so then you can program it. You know, um, that's the technique that this quote unquote shaman was using. Now, the frog poison ritual, okay? The frog poison ritual is not the same as licking a toad or smoking a toad because the active ingredient in the toad venom that you're licking is 5-MeO-DMT. While you can ingest the toad's venom by licking its back, it's more common to extract the venom and convert it to a powder before smoking it you're smoking dmt okay smoking dmt and dmt can come from a lot of places not just a frog okay now the frog ritual that this shaman wanted martin to do was one where you burn the skin and then you put a paste of frog venom over it so it soaks in through the burn now the problem with that of course is that the burn leaves a scar <laughs> so um this is a youtube channel fearless and far where he goes through the frog poison ritual he actually does it you know so he shows you the whole thing and, and it involves, you know, them burning your skin, putting a paste on it. Then here he's heating up the, the, the thing to burn your skin, burn your skin over here, put the paste on it. And then you run down to the river. See here he's getting burnt. And then they're going to put the paste on it. 
and you run down to the river and you start puking. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's hellish. It's, it, there's nothing to do with DMT. There's nothing to do with a psychedelic trip. There's nothing to do with anything psychedelic. It's, uh, here he goes, here's the paste. So this is the ritual right here that Bryn Kinney wanted Barton to do right here. See, now he runs down to the river to, to puke. So supposedly, this enhances your immune system. There's the venom going on. There's a toe venom going on the burn. Then you run down to the river and you puke. It heightens your senses. You can see more clearly. Your hearing improves. You can smell more. Your immune system becomes supercharged. These are the things that happen when you do the frog poison. It's, it's, it's not a psychedelic trip. It's not a fun trip. It's not a good trip. It's not something that you, I don't believe that most people would want to do. So I don't blame the Martin kid. The Martin kid didn't do it. He's like, I'm, I'm not doing that. But um, this guy did. And if you want to watch the video, it's called Combo, the Frog Poison Ritual, Traditional Amazon Medicine. So I just wanted to clarify in case you didn't really know what the frog poison ritual was all about. That's what it's all about right there.